Hi, I'm Cindy McGee. Today I'm using items from the Go Bold Create a Long Box to create a bold and colorful western style pendant. For the center portion of the pendant, I'm using Cadmium Red Hue Primo Sculpey, which I've conditioned and rolled out in my clay machine. I rolled it to a setting number two on my Atlas machine. I'm going to use the Western Quilt stencil that came in the box this month to create the focal center element for the pendant. I'm going to place the stencil onto the clay sheet and I just use my roller to press it in really well. I want to create sort of a raised effect in addition to using it as a stencil. Then I placed the gold foil that also came in the box this month over the stencil. You want to place the non shiny metallic side down. So the gold side up, give it a press. And then this works for, with uh, friction. So I'm using a old gift card and I'm just going to rub, 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 rub until I get enough of the foil transferred. And you can gently lift it and see if it's transferred enough and then rub some more and then just quickly sort of rip it free to reveal the gorgeous foil on the clay. The box came with two of these wooden pendant shapes this time, or ornament shapes, and I'm going to use this one and I placed it over the foiled stenciled area and I'm just going to use my craft knife to cut around it and then I'm going to use my blade to cut a strip from the center foiled area and that strip will be placed in the center of this pendant blank. For the space above and beneath that red piece, I'm using some Primo Sculpey Purple, which I've conditioned and rolled out again to a two on my clay machine. And I'm going to texture it with the Bold Blocks Texture Sheet. This came in the box this month too. And I like to place my texture sheet over the sheet of clay, just making sure that it's going to fit one width is enough, and it is. And then I found that if I place some parchment over it, and then roll and apply a good, firm, even pressure, I get a great transfer of the pattern to the clay. Okay, again, I'm going to put that template over the textured clay this time. I love this texture. I think it's going to become one of my favorites quickly. And use my craft knife to, again, cut around it. And this time, once the main shape is cut, I'm going to use my blade to cut the top and bottom sections. I added a thin layer of liquid clay to the front of the shape and then went ahead and adhered the top and bottom purple sections. To add a bit of shimmer, I'm using this pretty purple mica powder that came in the box this month and I'm going to apply it with my fingertip just over the texture to add some sparkle and highlight that pattern a bit more. Then I'm adding the 
gold foiled strip to the center. For my third color, I'm using Peacock Pearl Primo Sculpey Accents, which I'm extruding with a small multi-hole disc. Then I took two strands and twisted them together to create pieces to add to the pendant where the seams of the purple and the red clay meet. Next, I used a single strand of that Peacock Pearl Clay and very carefully added it around the border, around the outside top edge of the pendant. Just very gently pressing it in place so that it makes all those turns and curves. Use a clay tool to push through the hole so that your pendant will have somewhere to add your cording. And then go ahead and bake it according to the manufacturer instructions and let it cool. Now that my pendant has baked and cooled, I am using some DecoArt multi-surface satin and this is the metallics. And I believe this is light gold. And I'm going to paint the entire back of the pendant and then use a finer paintbrush and paint around the outside edge beneath that piece of peacock pearl clay. I hope you enjoyed this project made with items from the Go Bold Create Along box. Remember to join us on the Polymer Clay Tribe Facebook page and share your versions of this project.